ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Drifted Track and Field Championships canceled last year thanks to COVID-19, but President of the North American, Central American and Caribbean Athletics Association, Mike Sands, says the meet is now scheduled for July. And we're hoping with cautious optimism that the, we will be in a better place uh, come, um, come that period to allow us to host the Crypto Games. The Games are still scheduled for Bermuda. We took a decision that we'll allow Bermuda to have the Games. Uh, and they, bear in mind that they were only three weeks away from the Games last year when we had to postpone it. So in terms of preparation and being ready, uh, we have no concerns about that. Sen says across the globe, sports officials are closely monitoring to see when other big events will be held. As you know, the United States has started their competition in the collegiate ranks as well as some of the air permit meets that we, that we sanction uh, with the protocols in place. And so a lot of the member federations uh, are trying their best to maintain some level of competition for the athletes. Again, with the hope and optimism that we are able to start a regular um, season. It is not what we want it to be, but we cannot sit by idly and not plan for it. The Ole Miss women's basketball team played in Florida yesterday with a big game for Valerie Nesbitt. She finished with 18 points, but the Lady Rebels still lost. Coach O on the game. Every time we step out on the floor, we're going to have to compete. We're going to have to fight. We're going to have to grow. You know, uh, our inexperience shows up every time. We hit adversity, and that's something we're going to have to learn to work through. Um, until we learn how to work through it, we're going to um, come up short. Now to tennis action. Sydney Clark and Dominica went down 6-1 at the doubles this weekend. Clark played, took the first six games to four, and lost the second set by the same scoreline before falling in the super tiebreaker 13-11. The Blazers hoping to rebound on Friday against Georgia Tech. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center.